Today I want to share with you a list of visual novels I've dropped on my journey. I'll explain why I decided to drop them. But remember, these are purely my subjective opinions and they shouldn't deter you from trying them out for yourself. So let's get started. One visual novel I dropped was Bokuton Why I Became an Angel. The main reason behind this decision was its length and narrative style. The story focused not only on the main character, but also on various side characters, making it difficult for me to connect with any of them deeply. There are long stretches where we wouldn't see the main characters, which hindered my ability to fully understand their perspectives. Additionally, each chapter introduced new characters and stories, leaving me feeling detached from them by the end of each chapter. Unfortunately, this lack of development for the protagonist led me to drop the game. On the plus side, the music and CGs were of high quality, which explains its popularity among many players, and the protagonist was interesting since he didn't seem to be very interested in love or relationships in general, which I found original. However, it just wasn't for me. Danganronpa is another visual novel I struggled with. Although it presents a unique visual style, fantastic music, and an intricate storyline, I found myself not enjoying the gameplay elements. Personally, I'm not a fan of detective games, so they required exploration and interaction with various characters during free time segments felt like a chore to me. Despite this, I do plan to give it another shot in the future, mainly because I'm interested in playing its sequels. If you're familiar with the series, please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know if it's essential to play Danganronpa 1 before diving into the other games of the franchise. My decision to drop Higurashi was primarily due to its graphical presentation. I played the original 2002 version, and as someone with a background in graphic design, aesthetics are crucial to my enjoyment. Unfortunately, Higurashi didn't meet my expectations on that aspect. The character sprites had coarse features and odd proportions, which I found unappealing. Moreover, the lack of variety in character sprites and the repetition of music for extended periods of time didn't help either. I had watched the 2006 anime adaptation and heard that the visual novel was superior in some way, so I gave it a try back in the day, but I couldn't get very far, only a few hours in. Certain scenes felt unnecessarily dragged out, like the lengthy hide and seek sequence that occurs at one point in the beginning. It's a shame because I might consider Onikakushi version, which seems to have better sprites and more diverse music. So we'll see in the future. <laughs> Mav Love is another visual novel I dropped mainly due to its art style and character interactions. While the graphics and visuals are generally fine, I had trouble appreciating the character designs. They are unique, but I couldn't connect with their unconventional hairstyles and outfits. Furthermore, I found the character's behavior in the game to be either overly impulsive or excessively uptight, which didn't resonate with me. The protagonist in particular came across as overconfident and smug, although I acknowledge that this might be a matter of personal perception. I understand that the exaggerated character traits were intentional to add a cartoonish quality, but it just wasn't my preference. On the positive side, I did appreciate the way the game conveyed movements and actions through sprite animations rather than lengthy descriptions, giving it a more animated feel than a novel one. <coughs> Finally, I'd like to discuss Root Double Before Crime After Days. This one disappointed me despite its intriguing setting and a strong start that had me hooked for the first half of the game. For your information, I played the Kasasagi Watase route because I was more interested in the Rescue Squad storyline than the high school student plot. I particularly liked the protagonist, who felt more mature and experienced compared to most visual novel main characters, which mostly are high school students. The other characters were also endearing, with Ena Sensei being my favorite among the routes offered by the game. The music, sprites and backgrounds are high quality, so there's nothing wrong with that aspect. In addition to that, I found the choice system quite unique. 
even though I felt like my choices weren't making that much difference in the current route due to the statistics that are displayed in the middle of the circle. Like, does a pick towards a character mean they will get benefits onward? So why was it red or yellow sometimes? Maybe that was just me, but I found this game mechanic a bit ambiguous and detrimental at the end of the day. Anyway, the main thing that got me to quit is the pace of the game, which is very slow. Even though I expected a long game by seeing its VNGB page, I wasn't expecting developers to stretch it that long. To give you a hint of where I quit, it was around an important event that occurred with this character. If you want to play the game in the future, I just say there's a plot twist that happened at one point in the game. At this stage, I thought we were finally gonna be out of the basement in which we've been stuck since the beginning of the game. But there's something that prevents the characters to do so, and I realized it would take another 5 hours to finally get out of the basement. However, I can't deny the fact they conducted a lot of research for the game, from references to the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, to the fact characters use mega electron volt sensors as a unit of measure to know when a place is too dangerous for them to venture into. But again, it's a problem of pace that got me to quit the game because I was really feeling the developers wanted to make the game as long as possible and that didn't sit with me. What are your thoughts on my experiences with these visual novels? Please share your opinions in the comments down below and remember that these are my personal opinions on those games and you definitely should try them out to make an opinion for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.